In Salem, Utah, a scene of tranquility at a home on South Street was shattered by a horrifying act of violence. Teresa Jarrett Scott, a 45-year-old woman and a mother of two, became the victim of a brutal crime perpetrated by the person she should have been safest with, her husband, 48-year-old Tracy Scott. The scene police walked into painted a cruelly interrupted image of serenity. Teresa still sitting on their bed, her crochet hook and yarn in her lap, legs crossed at the ankles. Yet the peace was shockingly broken by the consequences of three gunshots, to the face and chest, from a .45 caliber pistol. Their two sons, ages 16 and 13, were fortunately not at home during this gruesome act. However, they would later testify about the frequent arguments and fights marking their parents' 18-year-long marriage, a relationship already marred by a previous conviction for domestic violence in 2006. Tracy Scott's defense during the subsequent trial argued that he acted under extreme emotional distress, but the jury remained unconvinced. On August 22, 2014, Tracy Scott was found guilty of first-degree murder and sentenced to 15 years to life in the Utah State Prison. As we listen to the 911 call in a moment, let's bear in mind the human cost of this tragedy. A life lost and many lives forever altered by this senseless act. 911, what's the address of your emergency? What's the problem? Tell me exactly what's happened. There's been a shooting. Okay, who was shot? My wife was shot. Was it self-inflicted? No. Who shot her? I did. Do you still have the weapon? Yes, I do. Is she awake? No, she's dead. What is your name? Tracy. What's your last name? Scott. Where is the gun right now? In my hand. Can you put it down? I don't know yet. What kind of gun is it? It's a forty-five. Is it a handgun? Yes. Okay, Tracy, can you put that down for me? Let I, me get I, some help to you. Yet. I don't know yet. Okay? How can I, you... I had two children that I just totally destroyed their lives. They're okay. not here. Is there anyone else at the house with you? No. Nope. Okay, did you guys get in a fight or what happened? We've been fighting for the last two weeks, so I was really straight. Okay, where did you did shoot you her at? Out? In the bedroom. She got off the phone with her mother complaining about me, telling me how she's tired of it and this and that. And Tracy, what part of her body did you shoot her? I don't remember. Can you go in and see if she she's conscious? Take, she was going to take a picture of me, and I, and I just, it just went off. Okay, Tracy, can we, can I have you go in there and see if she's conscious? See if we can help her, okay? Can you do that for me? No, she's dead. She's not moving. Can you go over there by her? No. How old is she? 38. 37. And you, you are sure she's beyond any help? Yes. Okay, swatch here. Tracy, I'm stay on the phone in. with me for a second, okay? What's your phone number? I'm not to come in. I have to make a phone call. Tracy, can you... 